hi and happy new year. I don't know if you enjoyed 2011, but I, I surely did enjoy it a lot and I wish that this new year would be as brilliant as the, the last one that passed, so I wish the same for you. I noticed that recently all our videos on, on our channel were either Alicia or Kate. We messed up. On with the survey! What did you do in 2011 that you have never done before? I met people from the internet and that was an amazing experience. The first one was at the Youth Stars event in Warsaw. And then I met Shara, my friend Nicole and Leo. And that was pretty, pretty. Did you keep your New Year's resolutions? Even though they say that the point of New Year's resolutions is actually to break them, I didn't keep mine, so. That, that's actually pretty surprising. What countries did you visit in 2011? I visited Sweden, Denmark, and Germany. What would you like to have in 2012 that you lacked in 2011? As Kate said, a camera. I was actually this close to buy a new camera on eBay and then I realized that regardless of however cheap it was, I didn't have money anyway. What dates will etched upon your memory and why? June 26th. Seriously, biggest achievement, I guess, getting into college. Biggest failure, non remo. Best thing someone bought for me in 2011, I can't think of anything, but the Rubik's Cube. Where did most of your money go? Medical expenses, including orthodontics. What song will always remind you of 2011? Let the Rain by Sarah Bareilles. Link in a deleter. How to spend Christmas? I passed out because of the painkillers I took for what I believed was broken bone. Which it wasn't, but it hurt the same. Did you fall in love in 2011? I did not fall in love as much as I had already been in love. But... Kate? Nice one. What was the best book you read in 2011? I would say The Book Thief by Marcus Dussek, Franny and Zoe by J.D. Salinger. Or and an abundance of Catherine's. Either one of those. Greatest musical discovery, the national. What did you do on your birthday and how old did you turn? So I turned 18 and my birthday was actually the worst birthday I've ever had because I went to school, I got three F's, you know, three F's on a different subject, but on your birthday. Then I went to work and I sat in work until evening and I went home and I started studying and I studied until 4 a.m. the next day. What is the one thing that would have made your year immeasurably more satisfying? Um... Yeah, I don't know, a lottery? Maybe a lottery? What kept you sane? I think that what kept me sane in the first part of 2011 was my goal because I knew I would like to go to university and there wasn't just much discussing it. But in the second part of 2011, I guess that was just the art of not caring anymore about certain things. Who did you miss? I miss my best friend because she lives across the country and we don't get to see each other very often. And she's a horrible person who doesn't pick up her phone and is never on Skype. <laughs> what is the best thing that you ate? Definitely falafel. Because that was my first time I ate falafel and I just fell in love. What lessons did you learn in 2011? I guess the biggest lesson that I learned was that running away from things you don't like or things you're afraid of isn't really going to help, quite the contrary, and that it's cowardly. And you shouldn't do that, because it's gonna suck. Sorry about the light. You see how quickly it got dark during the making of this video? Ah, winter. Talk to you later, bye. Also, your pants is gonna be back soon, so 